Peace, family. Welcome back to another video with Credit Healing LLC. We'll answer all of your questions, concerns, and comments. Now, today, what I want to do is I want to actually answer uh, a question from one of our Credit Healing customers who have purchased our do-it-yourself Credit Healing packet in regards to um, the identification. Now, this is also for our clients who would like us to do it for them, but we want to be able to provide it for both because we want to be able to render uh, the positive results as quick as possible in regards to disputing and removing to our two items. Now, the question is, one, um, why do I need to provide my identification and my social security card? Um, and two, what if I don't have these particular forms of, of identification? What else can I provide? Now, these are actually really good questions. Although we do not receive them often, we do receive them. So I want to be able to answer them for those of you all who may not know. Uh, so we can be able to you know, make sure that the process is as easy and simple as possible. And I'm going to read this letter that was sent to, to one of our customers from TransUnion. It says, we appreciate you taking the time to contact us at TransUnion. Our goal is to maintain complete and accurate credit information. It's our commitment to you. Respond, proof of address unacceptable, reason three and four. Now, then it says below that, we have received the document you supplied for proof of your current address However, the documents, and it cuts off right there, but says are unacceptable due to one or more of the following reasons. Reason one, one or more of the documents provided was too old. Refer to the time frames listed below. Now, we want to make sure that if you submit your driver's license, that, it, that, that, that the date on there is actually um, current. You want to make sure that the date on the driver's license is actually current, or you can provide another form of identification. Reason two, one or more of the documents provided was uh, illegible. Now, when you are taking a picture of either your social, um, your driver's license, state ID, um, or whatever form of, of identification, you want to make sure that it's legible. You want to make sure that they can actually read it and that it's clear, it's clear and crisp because, you know, they can easily tell you that it's not legible and therefore that basically prolongs the process of disputing. So, so anytime that you actually uh, sending uh, your identification to us, when we're disputing on your behalf, you know, we request uh, that, you know, that if you do not provide it, uh, provide a clear picture, uh, we always, you know, just, just request that, you know, that you just provide a more clear picture because we do not want this to happen. We want them to be able to read it clearly. Reason three, one or more of the documents provided was not a qualifying document referred to the list below. Now, that basically means that if, that if you provide something um, that's not in this particular list, uh, then they are not required to accept it. So we want them to be able to accept it, which is why the two forms of ID that I require um, and request from you all is your driver's license, state ID, and your social security card. Um, if you don't have a social, you can provide them with a picture of your passport or a picture um, of the utility bill. It don't have to be the full utility bill, just the address. So those are the forms of ID that I require because those are the ones that they actually accept. Now it says reason four, only one form of proof was provided. Two qualifying documents are required. Now, anytime that you are disputing with either of the credit bureaus, you want to make sure that you provide two forms of ID, which is why we require that. Uh, when you're sending us information as well as in our credit packets, uh, you'll see where it has your driver's license, state ID, and your social, um, because they require two, um, not one. So if you look below that, <coughs> excuse me, it says, please provide two current forms of the qualifying documents listed below. First, driver's license, state ID card, bank or credit union statement, canceled check, government issued ID card, signed letter from homeless shelter, that's if you're not staying, um, you know, in a resident, stamped post office box receipt or utility bill such as water gas electric or telephone um or or a pay stub <clears throat> now if you provide any of these uh, forms of identification they will actually accept it now if you notice one thing that they do not require is your social security card however if you provide your social to transunion they will still accept it so you don't ha only have to provide either of these that are in the list. You can actually provide them with your social and they will accept that as a valid, as a valid form of ID, which is why we request 
you know, your driver's license social uh, when we actually disputing and that actually worked. So I'm just making this video to show you all proof as to why you actually need to provide these forms of ID. We do not need them for our personal situation. We do not need them. Uh, this is actually something that is uh, government regulated, it's federally regulated, that anytime that you're actually disputing using federal laws, they want to make sure that you are the person who you say you are um, because of you know, identity theft um, and things like that, that that's going on. So they want to make sure that they can validate uh, your identity when you're actually disputing. So if you have any questions, please feel free to give me a call at 225-733-6429 or you can email me at credithealing at gmail.com or if you're ready to get started, please go to www.credithealing.org. Peace.